right today we're going to talk about the mean all right the mean the mean is usually denoted by x bar okay x bar like um an x like that with a bar on top okay all right so in this video we'll look at the mean of a set of values or set of numbers when you're giving a raw data and then you have to find the mean how do you find it so the mean of a set of numbers or set of values now the mean of a set of values x1 x2 x3 x4 up to xn okay is the average of the values okay now if you have a set of numbers actually we don't know the numbers so let's assume that the first one is x1 the second one is x2 the third is x3 x4 up to what xn okay let's assume that we have this set of numbers and then i want to find the mean of this set of numbers okay the mean of this set of numbers is simply the average of this set of numbers so the mean which is same as the average is given by sigma x over what n okay this is sigma x over n you know this sign is here over there like that it's called sigma okay which means summation which means summation okay so it's sigma x over n so this can be written as x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus the dollar up to xn okay we are summing all the values in the data set divided by n which is the number of data points in the data set all right good so now let's take a um, simple example and see find the mean of the set of numbers 3 7 5 8 2 and 5 all right it's very simple so if you want to compare this one to what we have over here these are the x values so this is x1 okay and then this is x2 um this is x3 okay this is x4 this one actually will be x5 which is not there and this one is going to be xn plus x5 okay that is actually going to be xn all right good so that is very simple actually if you want to find a mean you simply have to add all these x values as you can see right here add all the x values and divide by the number of x values it's very simple so let's see the solution you say that x bar is the mean and the same as the average okay is equal to you know we wouldn't worry ourselves about this but all right it is a formula which means sum all the x values so now these are the x values okay we are going to sum those x values so we have 3 plus 7 plus 5 plus 8 plus 2 plus 5 all right all of our n which is the number of data points we have so one two three four five six okay so divided by six okay so we'll do this simple arithmetic and then we're going to arrive at set three plus seven plus five plus eight plus two plus five which will certainly give us what 30 over six then we simplify this to get what five so the mean x bar is equal to what five it's very simple but this is very simple okay to find the mean is to find the average and to find the average sum all the values and divide by the number of values so you can sum all these values and divide by the number of values how many are the six it's very simple okay good let's take some other examples and then um, this is find the mean of the following set of numbers the first one um say so the first one is nine two five three nine seven seven the second is 23 8 11 42 34 80 54 23 but it's also very simple there's no time to waste about this so as we did in the previous example we are going to sum of the values and divide by the number of values so in the first case x bar what is the mean is equal to so you're going to sum all the values all these over how many numbers do we have in 
tested data set. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'll divide by what? 7. Is that right? Good. You do this arithmetic and then you get 42 over what? 7. Right? Which will simplify to give us what? 6. Alright. So our mean x bar is equal to what? 6. Alright. Good. So the next one, I'm going to leave you to try this one. So pause the video and then try this second one. Alright. Good. Let's see what we are getting. So the x bar is going to be. We are actually going to sum all these values, okay, divided by the number of values we have in there. So you agree that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 numbers over there. So our mean will be equal to the sum of all those values over what? 8. Then if you simplify this, you're going to get 275 over what? 8. Which will simplify to give us 34.375. I hope you got that answer. Well done. So that is all about how to find a mean of a set of numbers when you have the numbers given like this. That's how you find a mean. You sum the values and you divide by the number of values as simple as such. All right. In many cases, the question may not be given to you straightforward like this. You have to apply your understanding of the mean to be able to answer the question. So let's take an example like that and see how it works. All right. Now, that one says that the average of six numbers, okay, the average of six numbers, 28, 11, 3, x 20 and 37 is 18 now we have to find the value of what x find the value of x you know at the first read of this question if you've not seen it before you look a bit confused but it's very simple all right so let's see the solution now let's look at how we answer this question good so the solution now what you need to know is that we are going to apply the idea of finding the mean to be able to answer this question okay all right this time we were given the mean and then one of the values is from which the mean is calculated is missing and that is what we are supposed to find okay but you agree with me that we said in finding the mean x bar it is equal to the sum of all the x values over the number of x values and in this case we have been given the mean Okay, we are given the mean x bar, which is equal to the average, has been given the question. Okay, look at it. The average of six numbers. And we have been given the six numbers over here. Okay, good. And you are saying the average is what? 18. So the average, which is the same as the mean, has been given to us as what 18. You see that so now we know the mean to be what 18. We know the x bar over here to be what 18. All right, good. Then also, we know the n. What is the n? n is the number of values we have in a data set, and how many are they? They said, How many are they? In fact, it has been given the question, but even if it's not given, you have it here one. 2, 3, 4, 5, and what? 6. Okay, good. So n is equal to what? 6. So with this information, you can go ahead and find the value of what? x. So with a question like this, try and then fish out the average with the mean, and then see whether you can fish out the n. Okay, you can fix them into this thing which is like a formula all right so now this thing is going to look like the mean is equal to now what is the mean the mean now is what 18 so we have 18 is equal to 
Now we're going to sum all the x values. These are the x values. Okay, so we have 28 plus 11 plus 3 plus x plus 20 plus what? 37. Okay, these are the x values divided by n. What is our n? Our n is what? 6. So we divide by 6. There you go. As simple as such. So now we have to solve this and then find the value of what? x okay good now from here you agree with me that this the right hand side is going to give us a fraction so so we can see that multiply both sides by what six okay multiply both sides by what um six good so now we have six times 18 what will it give us uh, we should be getting 108 okay so 108 on the left side then when you come to the right side this six we have over here take care of this six is that right now you're left with 28 plus 11 plus 3 plus 20 plus 37 will give us what 99 okay so to give us 99 plus what x so we have 99 plus x so then we can go ahead and find the value of what x we want to find x so we subtract um 99 from both sides okay minus 99 like that okay so that's very simple on the left side we have 108 minus 99 so 108 minus 99 and then when you come to the right side, you have 99 minus 99, which is 0. So you are left with what? X. So when you come to the right side, we are left with what? X. You see that? Good. So this is the same as X is equal to 108 minus 99. When you simplify this, you are going to get what? 9 is equal to X. So therefore, the value of X is what? 9. So the missing value over here is what? 9. So what it means is that if you fix the value 9 here and you go by the normal approach to find the mean, you should be getting what? 18. You can try that and see. So the mean x bar um, is equal to this 28 plus 11 plus the um, d plus uh, 9 plus 20 okay plus um, 37 all these divided by the number of values we have which is 6 this in terms should give us what 18 which is our mean you can try that and see all right, so that's how we approach this kind of question to you. If there's any question or comment, please leave it in the comment section. Okay, and I'm going to give you a similar one to try. Okay, so that we see whether there has been some learning. Okay, good. Now this one says that 6, 2, y, 5, and 3. Okay are the ages in years of five students in a class if their mean age is four years if their mean age is four years what is the value of what y just like the first one we did so pause the video and try your hands in the next few seconds we'll compare our answers I believe we are done so I think we should be getting something like this good so just like we did first we said that the mean from a set of data is equal to the sum of the values over the number of values right good now in the question we were given the mean if their mean age okay if their mean age is four years okay so the mean is what 4 
this means you are having given to be what four and then n with the number of values is five okay we have it here if not we can count one two three four five all right so then you know that n is what five good fix them into this formula and so you're getting the mean is four okay is equal to sum the values sum of the x values so you have six plus two plus y plus five plus three all these over n our n is what five so you put it here nicely all right good so from here you can multiply two by five by five Five, not that two by five, so that this five can take care of this five. All right, good. Then you have five times four, or four times five, is equal to. Then you simplify this side. Six plus two plus y plus five plus three, we leave it with sixteen plus y. All right, good. Then we continue over here. Five times four, we leave it with twenty. Is equal to 16 plus y. Then we solve for y. Okay, by subtracting 16 from both sides. Okay, by subtracting 16 from both sides. You agree that this 16 will take care of this 16. Then you have only y left on the right side. Then you have 20 minus 16 on the left side. And 20 minus 16 is what? 4. Right? Okay, it's 4. Therefore, the value of y is what 4 okay so this missing value you see over here is what 4 good so once again assuming you were given or you know this value to be 4 what it means is that if you find the mean of all these five values you should be getting what 4 years okay so you can look at it this way x bar will be equal to we have 6 plus 2 plus 4 plus, um, how do you call it, 5 plus um, 3, all these, okay, this is 6, okay, 6, all these over, how many values do we have, 5. Okay, good. And if you sum this, I suppose you'll be getting 20 over 5. And then this one will be given as what? 4. Okay, so it's, it's just simple, just that you've been tricked in a way. Alright, thanks for watching. And please, if you've not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell. And don't forget to like and share. I'll see you in the next video.